Hi friends. In this TTK window, we have used TTK Bootstrap and uh, Table View. So we are displaying this table and this data we have taken from a uh, two variables. One is for the header and another is for the all the rows, whatever we are displaying rows of data. Now we'll try to take these variables or this data from a different different data sources. We'll take it from uh, Excel file, from uh, CSV file. A comma separated value or CSV file or we can use a pandas data frame also we'll also use MySQL database and also we'll use SQLite database to source our data we'll learn all about this visit this URL the link is available at the description here the sample student Excel file you can download or you can download the CSV file of the same table now you can create the uh, data frame by cop just copying the data and you can also create uh, uh, here is the mysql sql dump so you can create your student table in the mysql database or if you want to use the sqlite database as data source the same student table here you can visit and create the table from here we will start this is where we have started our uh, we have imported ttk bootstrap then table view then some constants we have imported and the most important part is you just see here two variables we are importing and this is we are taking from a another file ttk uh, table source and this file is here so this file is in the same directory and these two variables are declared here r underscore set and l1 l1 is for the all the headers and r underscore set is for the all the rows data now coming back to our main file here we have declared the windows and then place the table view here we have declared with all the uh, options are pagination searchable bootstrap style everything we have declared and all this we have discussed in our previous video also so how this uh, table view is placed and this is where the data is connected to our table view so here you can see l1 and r set both we are giving then we have loaded the to the table then auto fit and aligned it so after this this our table is ready now but think is here at this particular line we are connecting and connecting the two variables to our table view and here also you can see here these two are at this we are importing it but here we are using two flat variables means just uh, written the variables with the it's a 10 row list is there for the rows and again here it is the headers now instead of this we'll use various sources for that first will what you will do is we will comment this line so we'll take this line here we'll place a we'll remove this part we are removing by commenting up to this point so it is removed now after this we will connect our own source but whatever source we use we we generate these two variables only we'll keep the variable name as same in that case this particular one th there is no there will be no change in code in this file so this file will remain same and it will call the these two variables to use it but here how we generate the two variables that we will keep on changing by taking different different data sources so let's start with csv file sorry it's a comma separated value file so this is a uh, file all the rows are uh, all the columns are separated by comma this is a standard file where <coughs> that easily data porting can be done from one source to other this is a, just like a text file also it but the data are separated by commas and each line uh, are separated so this is the csv file so first there is a library for that csv it is there with you also in the python it comes if it is not there just pip install csv now uh, now the file i am creating a file object open now what i am opening is i am pointing to my location where my student csv file is before this you can also say you we have seen you are you the samples uh, csv file you had must have downloaded now let's just see f it is my location f drive now the data this is a directory name and student dot csv csv now this file and you you have to change your own suppose you are kept in in different location you just change your path so i am change your path so accordingly now my file is ready now i am saying see it just variable only reader equal to csv dot reader now file so i got the reader now 
now i am creating now the list l1 l1 is uh, my whatever the header list i have to one of the two variable one is l1 another was r set so l1 i am creating a blank one now next line blank list i am creating l1 equal to next i am saying csv reader csv reader so i am column headers i am getting the first getting sorry i'll i'll just simply write it headers so sorry i have to give a comment so next is on a iterator it will next will take the pointer to next one it will pull out the first row so now whatever is left is is our data so i am saying r set equal to because that is the rows data so i am giving row for row in csv reader so that's all now what happens is now this rest of the rows are i have stored it in r set so and header is these two variables only we are interested so that's ends that sends my reading csv file i am just saving this here there is no change because the same two variables where from i am taking that's matters so let's just run it if the data comes it is coming from the csv file let's just run it yeah here it is so i have my th around 35 rows of data in our csv file so that is why the paging is coming because here our paginated is set as true at line number 12 so i can move across to different different pages so this data is taken from my csv file let's come back to our source file now this csv part will comment it now so for that let me comment this remove this part so it is removed and end is here so now csv is removed now we'll add above this or we can anywhere now let's go for excel so we'll read from an excel file so for that we'll say from open pi excel now open pi excel import load workbook so this is the what we are going to use it so workbook now in this library workbook equal to load workbook now here file name so here i have to give the path so in your case wherever you have stored you give this this is for me the same one now i am giving data inside the data directory i have student now xlsx this is the file i have and one thing i will give is read only i will set it to two because this excel file i am not going to change read only equal to true so this option i have given so i am not going to change anything on that now i will start with worksheet what worksheet i am connecting in my excel file there is a the uh, only one worksheet is there inside the workbook so that is student so i am just giving wb if you have a c2 by default it will be c2 and c2 like this so if it is just check it up so i am giving student for me maybe maybe in your case it will be c2 one now that's all now i'll c collect the data r set equal to now here i am saying row sorry 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 this reverse row for row in ws dot I T E R rows now uh, this rows whatever we want values only so I have to as values only equal to true now that's all so we have got the all the all the rows whatever is there you pick up that's what we are telling and it will be hold in our R set but one thing we will separate the header from that so for that we are saying L1 equal to R set now dot pop the top row so we'll be giving it a zero row so remove that so and hold store it in l1 that's all these two variables only we are interested whatever be the source so i am just saving this now let me just run this and see where from now if it do it is coming from the excel file so let's run this and see yeah here it is so this excel file contains the same data i can go to the last also now let's uh, go to again to our data file so this also will comment now i am three below that 
uh, up to this point so here I will again so now this is also commented so Excel is commented now here in between this I can write it here okay it is clear it is from here the Excel file is below that CSV now I will just write here Excel file fine so this has come here now we will go for pandas data frame we will uh, write the comment here data frame so data frame will take the source from a data frame anyway we will create a data frame by using again that same excel file because there are 43 45 rows of data so the collecting creating manually will take time so i am creating the data frame okay sorry sorry first i have to import pandas import pandas as pd now i will say df or data frame equal to pd i am creating the data frame read excel now this function will read any excel file and create the data frame there are many options i am just not going for anything complex here f drive i am giving the path here f drive now it is the data now inside data student dot xlsx so this is the path i have given now my data frame is created now from this data frame i will create a l1 the my whatever is the list data frame now this will have my column headers so let me just move up column headers are ready now i have to get the rows r underscore set this equal to df here some functions i am using to numpy these are all methods available in our uh, pandas to list so i am creating the list here also and this will contain the rows of data so you can see so this four lines of code or actual three line of code is enough so now all others i have uh, commented only this three lines only is in line so other things are commented you can just verify it yeah others are csv excel now other at the top so whatever we'll get it in our main file is from the pandas data frame only so i am just running this let's just see mm, i think my previous window oh yeah so this is the now it is coming from the pandas data frame now we'll again move to another data source so for here pandas is here i will comment this part and come end is here so are, we are removed pandas now now above that we'll start using sqlite so for sqlite we'll be importing our sql alchemy create engine so i'll say from ql alchemy import create engine so this is what is the library we are using so if you have not installed in pip install and we have a, a exclusive uh, tutorial for that now i am pasting here a one line of connection string here you can see my connection create engine sqlite testing this is what actually i am and this is the you know sqlite is a file base so this is the path where my database is uh, stored in your case if it is different change it so i establish the connection now i'll get the data so that is r set or the rows i am getting or is a record set my connection dot execute now what it will execute is i am getting executing a query so i'll write that select star from student student is my table name all the records i am telling bring all the records so around 35 are there so that i am getting now i will get from this i will get my uh, headers first or the column headers so l1 this is equal to r for r in r set dot keys now i will get the all the list of headers so i this is a list again i will just say list of headers now my record now that is over now i got the list of headers now i'll get my record set mm, okay r set equal to now the same r set i am using now i'll say here r 
for r in r set dot uh, sorry r uh, in r set that's all now this gives me the list of all the rows but i will just convert because it said i'll get always get a tuple here so i will convert it to list so i am saying it list without that also i'll get i'll can able to populate it but you will see the brackets at the end so without that so now this two now i am saving this my all others are commented let me just run the main file so i can see the data is coming or not so here it is now this is coming from sqlite database so 35 records i can move to different different pages also so last one is 35 we'll comment our sqlite part also but whatever the sql alchemy engine will not uh, comment because for my sql that we are going to use it so here it is up to this point i am commenting fine now this is this part is gone but this library line number 17 you see this is there because that will be using for our mysql database now i am pasting my connection string here you just see here i am one line i am okay, i pasted it here this user id i will change my id to root my in, in my local host it is so uh, i have a very weak password now i am going my tutorial is my database so you change in your case whatever your login details are there now th that is fine now what i will do i will just copy because the code remains in whatever the database source changes but my code remains in i just copied this so i and i'm coming here pasting it that's all now the my my uh, sql database is ready so i am connecting now you just see rest all the codes are commented so this is the only one available so i have saved it now coming to our main file so if i am if it works it is taken from mysql database now let me just okay my previous window is not closed let me close this and it will open again yeah so this is the what has now it is taken from mysql database you can see all the records i am bringing it up here so this is how we have discussed almost i think five different sources how the data is taken and populated the uh, this view we'll also discuss about a lot of other wizards how we will integrate with database take the data input data output data all these will continue discussing and add different different uh, parts to this so i request you please subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon so you'll be notified as and when we add new new tutorials we frequently do that also and if you have any doubts suggestion questions use the comment section below to post it please share this with your friends and thank you for watching